This story takes place in Hoboken, New Jersey. Broken bones, blood, flesh, intestines, and a hamstring were all Franklin saw. After Thomas had fallen into the meat grinder, he heard the screams of terror and pain when he first fell in the meat grinder meant for his beloved cow Bessie, but he slipped and fell in. First went the legs as he heard the snapping of his femur and bones in his foot, he cried out in pain as Franklin tried to pull him out, but he couldn't match the grinder's power because it was that of a much more muscular honey boo boo, then went his stomach, in the relentless meat grinder Franklin was able to see the salami sandwich his friend had on his lunch break. The rest of his body was 420 no scoped by his beloved Bessie, who secretly had her own sniping clan. Bessie was a noob, Thomas was gone in 10 seconds or less, he was one with the animal meat ocean below him. Franklin was mortified by what he saw, but also enlightened to make his own sniping clan and win a major league gaming tournament. A 32-year-old Franklin was determined now to match Bessie's skills. Franklin had a job to do and gather a team of elite snipers. He searched all over America and Antarctica. Just in case if penguins wanted to join, only one did, but two hours in he was mauled by a polar bear and dragged away into the stormy depths of the now red ocean. After his penguin friend was mauled by the polar bear he now had a vigorous journey ahead of him he now had to make it back to his car which he drove over the land bridge that only the gods of the ocean revealed to him, you see Franklin had potential and the gods were able to see that he was indeed a dynamo and less of a man and more of a god when it came to 420 no scoping. Franklin made it back to his car which had mauled seal guts all over it, he was sad he had to do such a thing since he forgot to pack his lunch, but the gods took care of him in a very special way, hence the seals. Once he got back to his house he practiced long hours, day and night to match Bessie's team, he only had what remained of his penguin friend, its severed body, he had to fight neck and neck to get his friend back, and if you go to Antarctica, you should be able to find the polar bear Franklin impaled a spear in. Franklin put ads on Craigslist to find recruits for his 420 no scope and clan, as he found his first recruit, a small boy by the name of Stephen, who lived in Canada, the home of the Rocky Mountain steeds that Franklin dream about every night. They decided to meet at a local McDonald's in Toronto, they met at Niagara Falls instead, Franklin waited for hours then finally saw Stephen, but it wasn't him, Franklin was catfished and Stephen pulled out a 420 scar rifle and no scoped Franklin, and Franklin 420 MLG caught the bullet in his teeth and shot it back out at Stephen, who then fell into the now red waterfall and his body shattered on rocks below, just like Franklin's spirits. The tournament was three days away and Franklin only had one member of his clan, which was a penguin corpse halfway skinned. Franklin decided to go lone wolf, renegade, and most importantly part with the penguin. Franklin took a trip back to Antarctica to bury his friend in the snow, he cried and wept but Franklin moved on but it reminded him of his past life, where he was married and had three beautiful children named Sally, Frank and Jerome. But not for long his wife, Mary was drilled by a mail truck, but in three weeks time Sally had been ran through by roll wrench. One day later Frank was absolutely transformed into a liquid when a train going 420 miles per hour hit him directly. No need telling what happened to Jerome, you see Jerome was a slightly obese man weighing a whopping 420 pounds. One night while Jerome was out, he decided to get a snack from a vending machine, but the snack was stuck. Jerome shook the machine but it fell on him, hopping like a party popper. He never got his money back. This made Franklin sad as he remembered this. He was consumed by the storm of insanity and hatred for vending machines. The bane of his much-loved child Jerome, Franklin was determined more than ever. The day before the tournament Franklin went to the temple of the Rocky Mountain Gods, whom he loved, he asked if they wanted in on the clan that turned him down and was exiled from Canada. 
The hour before the tournament Franklin was at his favorite sub sandwich brunch place where he ordered a salami sandwich with no pickles and extra clam chowder as he bit into the spicy, juicy, fine, medium scrumptious salami sandwich he remembered Thomas and the meat grinder and how he saw the salami sandwich fall out of his poor friend churned stomach. He immediately vomited back up the chowder infested sandwich. Franklin also had the buildup of feces in his body which he couldn't hold much longer and it shot him all the way up to the orbit where he was sucked into a red giant star and was hurled light years away into a black hole which lead to Bessie's right udder which Franklin shot out of and into the meat grinder, the same one Thomas fell into. Franklin moments before death realized this is how Thomas died, he didn't slip and he wanted to start up his own 420 no scoping clan but lead to this fate. Franklin met the same fate Thomas did salami sandwich and all, his mistake, he trusted the nuns of coffee. Always remember kids never fall into a cow's 420 mlg no scoping clan catfish as you will die in a matter of days.